Solving quadratic equations graphically is a really cool thing that we can do with our graphing calculators that we couldn't do with just a regular one. Um, and really all we're going to have to do is find the zeros because we're finding an x that when you plug it in is equal to a zero, which would mean the y would have to be zero, and that ends up being an x-intercept. Okay, so how do I do that? I know I've got the screenshots here, but I'm going to walk us through that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is in my calculator, turn it on, and then I've got my equation entered there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the graph and in the standard window. Okay, now I don't really see a nice picture here, but I do see the zeros. Okay, but because these are such steep lines, um, well, it might be kind of hard to see the left bound and the right bound. So I've suggested an alternate window here. And this is something you could just play around with a little bit. We don't have to go very far in the positive axis because, you know, it stopped right here. And then, or at least the intercept stop right there. And then on the Y's, well, we know we have to go quite a bit down from there. So you just kind of play around. 70 is what I decided would probably work, and then 30, and then just to make the uh, scale look a little bit nicer, we're going to change it to units of 10. Now when I hit the graph, I do see a nice uh, parabola. It cut off the very bottom, but that's good enough. Now I can kind of easily see left bounds and right bounds of my zeros. Okay, so again, I've got the screenshots here. Uh, if you print this out and, and look at the notes. How do I go through this? I'm going to go to second and then that calculate menu and we want number two here the zeros okay and I'm gonna hit enter and it's asking me for a left and right bound and so I use my left and right arrow keys until I begin to see the little marker on my graph now if I'm looking for this first x-intercept right about there the left side of it would be above right there and I'd hit enter Okay, and then it says, well, what's the right side? So I need to move past it to the right, which turns out for this intercept to be below. Hit enter, and then it wants me to guess, so I move back right about on the line and hit enter. And there it's telling me that my zero is negative eight. Okay, so if I scroll down a little bit here, you can see that I've got my zero. Now let me walk you through the other side, okay, because I don't have these on the notes. Second, calculate and you're going to choose number two and you can either arrow down or you can just hit the number two and now I have to move my cursor quite a bit we're going to the other one and the first question is still going to be what's the left bound that means where's something just to the left of the point that you're interested in okay so I'm going to stop just short of my intercept because I want to stay to the left and hit enter now I want to mark the right side so I have to go past it above it over here mark that and then come back to guess about there and we get our answer of point negative point four so we've got our two zeros 